Okay, I'll try to be quick. This particular model seems to have a constant problem with a communication error. The way that I've been fixing it is like this. It just goes away for a while and comes back. One, unplug it. Unplug it from power. Here, pop that panel off. It's got these little things here. We kind of got to do that and that. Hold these clips down. Pull this top panel off. It has a USB connector here. I just kind of unplug that. It's a mini USB. And then, oh wow, plug it back in, get it seated real good, and then push this thing back down. Oh, maybe. Oh, wow. That's a problem. Get this thing in here right, I guess. Uh. Oh, man. Okay. And then get these little things lined up right. Shove it back in there. Push these back down. Put this cover back on. And then uh, let's see. Turn it off. Plug it back in. And turn the power back on. In this process here, turn it back on can take a, well for it to get back up to speed can take an awful long time um, but I think I've gone beyond the point of being able to email this video uh, because I'm at now I'm at like two minutes oh alright so then I didn't fix it so we'll try turning it off again Think. I pressed the power button. Okay, finally turned it off. Unplug it again. Plug it back in. Turn it back on. See what happens. May or may not come up with that communication error again. It's got like six steps that it has to go through. seems to be a pretty common problem. I think I've ran into this um, multiple times at this location with these particular printers. This particular model again. Okay, four, six. I don't know if we're better or not. If we're lucky, what will happen is it'll come on and start uh, spitting out some faxes, maybe. Usually not lucky, though. That's kind of like the worst part, waiting for this thing. No. Personally, I think it's a design flaw to have that, um, the way that that cable connects to the panel. I don't like how it, it fits on the circuit board under there. It seems vulnerable, even though this is not a, a moving piece up here. Um, it just seems to be kind of a vulnerable connection between this 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 important circuit board and the rest of the printer. Uh, I, I would have thought that there would be some other some other way to make that connection that would be more secure. Maybe somebody thought, oh, well, this is great. We can just use a regular mini USB cable to make that attachment. But I found on you know every couple of months. If they get that communication error, and and I wind up having to um, reseed it in the way that I I've described. This is encouraging, though, that it's taking as long as it is. Although, 
and then just flashing lights just kind of go across. Six of six. Taking a lot longer than it took before. It's looking better, maybe. Okay, that's better. And then the last stage would be that uh, something should print out, maybe. So that's ready. Well, the error message is not on the screen anymore. So, nothing else um, appears to be working. So far, so good. I guess we'll see.